The COVID-19 pandemic has been especially tough on students, disrupting their school schedules and separating them from their friends and teachers. But one nonprofit in Stark County dedicated to mentoring students has come up with another way to connect with them this summer. Jade Jarvis joins us live this morning with details about that program. Good morning, Jade. Hey, good morning, Kevin. Well, the founder of the Legacy Project of Stark believes it is vital for kids to build strong relationships with adults they can trust, and they're more likely to be successful because of them. But it's especially needed now when they're so isolated at home. Now, the Legacy Project of Stark is a middle school mentoring program that matches adult volunteer mentors with students in Stark County. The nonprofit started back in 2015, growing from 30 kids to 1,500 kids with 250 mentors across 13 schools in Stark County. The mentors are adults from the local community who are recruited, trained, and have their backgrounds checked by the Legacy Project. Then typically they go into the schools during the students' lunch break to build relationships with the students, encouraging them to make smart decisions, keep up with their studies, and work on any negative behavior. The pandemic disrupted that school-based program, so now the group is holding summer sessions. 24 kids come to their facility in Maslin every Saturday for four-hour sessions where they do different activities and have meaningful conversations. These kids are really just starved for some interaction with not only their peers, but with, with mentors that are actually encouraging them and, and you know, almost making them feel like it's going to be okay. Um, there's, you know, it's kind of, we're, we work hard at trying to subside just the fear of, of everything that's going on with this uh, pandemic right now. And so we really feel like even now it's more important than, than maybe it was maybe a few months ago. Now the Legacy Project is hoping to get back into schools this fall. They're also planning to hold programs three days a week at their facility. And they're also trying to expand their outreach and get more students and mentors involved. So if you're interested in participating, you can check out all that information on our News 5 app. Reporting live, Jay Jarvis, News 5.